Hi, this is Phil Newman from Longevity Technology, and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined today uh, by founder and CEO of NMN Bio, Dr. Elena Saranova. How are you doing? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, it's great to have you uh, with us, uh, Elena. And of course, we covered you guys back in May 2021 when you kind of had your stated ambition to be the uh, uh, the most reliable provider of anti-aging supplements in you know UK, Europe, Oceania. And of course, we're now talking about one of your new products. So it uh, seems like it's going rather well for you. Yeah, absolutely. I actually like I couldn't even have imagined the growth that we would have because we're still actually just under three years of operation. So we started, um, we launched at the end of December 2020. So it's going to be three years soon at the end of this month. And we're already, um, you know, selling online through different uh, online platforms into 70 plus countries now. And we also are expanding into retail stores in the Middle East at the moment. And actually we are the first and the only NMN brand registered um, on the ground to be sold in retail stores here in the Middle East. So this is very exciting. And this is happening through our exclusive distribution deal with uh, Astir Pharmacy, which is the biggest pharmaceutical conglomerate in, in the Gulf countries. So a lot of uh, expansion and a lot of exciting uh, things for us here. And then, of course, uh, we now have launched our first proprietary uh, product, which is called the NAD Brain. And I'm, I'm absolutely excited to talk about this today because there is basically no such product on the market. It's a very unique formulation. And um, I think that you guys will love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, of course, um, as we all know, there's, there's a lot of concern. Uh, we surveyed our uh, our readers and most people have concerns about cognitive decline and, and their mental function yeah. and of course there's a there's a lot of uh, focus now on uh, gut brain axis and, yeah. and what mental health means overall for longevity mm -hmm. so so i guess you've got a a very exciting product to bring to market so so what 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 drove you to do this mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So as you may know, my uh, scientific background is in neuroscience and neurodegeneration. So my master's degree was in translational neuroscience, meaning that I was studying the genetics that translate into different neurodegenerative disorders. And then my PhD project that was in stem cell biology, where I was studying um, various neurodegenerative um, disorders and de neurodegeneration. So the reason why I launched this product was it was because I basically wanted uh, to have such a supplement for myself and for my own right. brain. And this was because um, earlier this year, so we published in Cell Reports, so this was a big chunk of my PhD work, this paper, and we can probably link this uh, down in the description of the video for our audience to kind of have a look at it um, ourselves. So we did show a very interesting connection be between autophagy and NAD metabolism, and basically what we saw is that like we saw multiple pathophysiological processes going wrong in the uh, uh, neuronal cells that we were studying in neurodegeneration. So uh, we would see phenotypes such as uh, increased reactive oxygen species because they had dysfunctional mitochondria. And as we know, um, autophagy, which is the intracellular mechanism by which um, the cells are basically clearing out toxins or dysfunctional organelles, such as dysfunctional mitochondria, for example. Um, it's, it, it's, so autophagy is basically basically impaired um, in your degeneration and it's also getting declined uh, with age as well. So in those cells, in those sick neurons that we were studying, so we would see increased reactive oxygen species because there were all these dysfunctional mitochondria floating around. And the reason they were floating around is because there was dysfunctional autophagy in those cells. But what happens when you have increased reactive oxygen species is that you start having increased DNA damage. And with that, when you have increased DNA damage, you basically have overconsumption of NAD, which is mm -hmm. the master regulator of human metabolism because you have hyperactivation of enzymes such as PARPs and sirtuins that need to consume this NAD in order to deal with the uh, DNA repair, basically, right? So we discovered yeah. this mechanism 
And we realize that, okay, well, it looks like this is actually something that we're seeing in different kinds of neurodegenerative disorders and uh, all, also with aging in general, right? Because NAD declines with age and then autophagy declines with age and then mitochondrial function declines with age as well. So this, this was a very um, clearly defined phenotype. And then when I was thinking about the different supplements that I'm taking myself, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking around 27 supplements myself last time that I counted. Right. And I realized at some point, actually, that uh, a third of the supplements I'm actually taking for my brain. And then I said, okay, well, how can this be optimized? How can I put this in one supplement, right? So this was over two years ago, where I started looking at the different hallmarks of brain aging. So I was asking myself, okay, well, what else is going wrong in the human brain as we age, right? So neurotransmission is going down, uh, concentration and focus are going down, because again, we have the increased reactive oxygen species, and this also results in some neuroinflammation. We have um, decline in the function of the um, uh, of the vasculature system in the brain as well. So there are multiple pathologies um, that are going on after the age of, let's say, 30 or 40, and it's just, you know, it, it, it's all a downward spiral from there, basically. Yeah. So in order to address this, we needed to address all of those hallmarks of brain aging, and this is what we did with this supplement, right? And not only that, but we also wanted to make sure that we provide both uh, short-term benefits so we do um, boost basically the baseline of your neurotransmission with some neurotransmitter precursors such as L-tyrosine for dopamine production, for example, acetylcholine for, for choline production and so on. Um, however, those are in small dosages in this supplement, in this blend, because it's supposed to be taken on a regular basis. So we just want to increase your baseline of cognitive ability um, on a daily basis with this ingredients. And then we also have the stimulatory effect with the uh, uh, caffeine to L-thionine ratio that is optimized in order to not give you the jitters, you know. So, so again, mm -hmm. you have like a stress-free, no jitter, um, a cognitive energy basically that you're getting from the supplement, but you also are getting the long-term benefits of neuroprotection and of making sure that your NAD brain is actually, sorry, your NAD is actually not being drained in your brain because we have ingredients such as fisetin and apigenin that basically prevent the leakage of NAD in the brain. And um, I, I believe that this is a wonderful supplement because um, we wanted to really make sure that um, you know, we we put together the ingredients that will nurture your brain and will give you all of the nutrients so you can basically stop and push back the uh, the cognitive decline. Well, I mean, that's, that, that sounds great. So I get you've got some kind of nootropic uh, qualities now, but likewise, as you say, the longer term benefits as well. And so in the in the studies that you've done for this, as well as the ingredients that you've put together into this, yeah. Um, you really, you've done a lot of scientific research to to support people with their longer term cognitive health as well, which of course is a huge concern for everybody and, and governments around the world, right? Absolutely, yeah, a lot of burden when it comes to you know patients with cognitive decline around the world. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, if we were to look at the ingredients list at the back, you know, when you look at a, uh, a NAD Plus booster that's out there in the marketplace, there's pretty pretty simple uh, ingredients list on the back of it of the supplement. So yeah. you've got you've rattled off quite a few uh, ingredients there. What, what else is there in this in the product? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, we wanted to differentiate this product from everything else on the market. So for that reason, you know, like all of the ingredients uh, are blood brain barrier permeable. So I just wanted to stress this out because uh, this is the supplement that is specifically formulated to support your brain, right? So it was a no-brainer, no, no yeah. pun intended, <laughs> yeah. to make sure that all of the ingredients are actually reaching your uh, your brain. And actually, we have a couple of cofactors um, in the blend, such as phosphatidylserine and vitamin B5, that are also increasing the uh, absorption and are helping the other ingredients to get into your uh, um, into your brain, basically. And so, so there are 12 ingredients, um, and I've, I've referred to a couple of them, and we basically wanted to make sure that we also include things that 
that uh, are proven to boost your cognitive performance like zinc and vitamin B5. And it's been shown that actually deficiency of um, vitamin B5 and B6 that is also in the mix, by the way, um, is tied to you know neurodegeneration and you know this is a whole different subject that you know our nutrition today is actually not nutritious enough to provide all the nutrients that we need and therefore we need to supplement with various kinds of supplements so right. it's a one of a kind of a brain uh, of, of sorry of a blend um and we, uh, we we've been working on this for just under two years we've been going back and forth with our r d team our biochemistry team and nutritionist team to make sure that we fine-tune the dosage of the ingredients to have the synergistic effect that we're getting. We also managed to encapsulate it without silicon dioxide such, uh, as an excipient. So we're very proud of this because with some blends, and especially when you have different kind of um, you know, ingredients that have different chemical properties, sometimes it's hard to make it flow through the machine. However, we did opt in for um, a more natural excipient, which is silica from Babu. So this is a natural extract uh, that we have there and some microcrystalline cellulose. So, um, you know, we believe that we did a, a great job into, uh, and, you know, like after putting all this effort into this formulation. Yeah. And of course, as we know, uh, there are some very power powerful molecules available in, in supplements. And mm -hmm. of course, the, the concept now of supplements really being used for clinical application is something that we're seeing a lot of out there. So, I mean, is this something that you'll be putting through uh, clinical studies in the future? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I can't reveal much yet, but there will be more data coming out of the University of Birmingham, uh, which is my uh, the university that I did my PhD project in, because we're still closely are working uh, with my PhD lab, and we are looking into how we can organize a human clinical study in order to show um, efficiency for this particular blend as well. That's great. And of course, because you're uh, affecting people with their cognition and their uh, acuity with a, with a now concept as well as a future concept, that's going to be very interesting. I'm sure you'll let us know when you have those, those results available, Elena. Absolutely. But, uh, Can't yeah, wait. Can, um, can I ask another question in relation to the, uh, the blend? Um, mm -hmm. Is this something that is patentable? Can you as a company uh, secure mm -hmm. that or is it something that you obviously mm -hmm. just as a combination uh, have to do a good job of that and, and yeah. do a good job of marketing it? Yeah, so basically we wanted to um, to publish, publish this product to make it available as soon as possible for our uh, audience. So we didn't actually patent it, but, you know, another thing with anti-aging supplements and any supplements really, but especially with the ones that are having like a bit of a higher uh, of a price tag is the reliability of the company itself that is selling it, right? So mm -hmm. we pride ourselves in our uh, supply chain transparency in the fact that we are uh, third party testing um, all of our products at every batch to make sure that, you know, it's it, it's pure, it's clean, there is no uh, heavy metals, there are no microorganisms in our, in our products, things like that, uh, purity, of course. So um, that's another selling point. That, and for this reason, we actually felt like, you know, like if we want to um, do good for the world and we want to offer a high quality supplement as fast as possible for this because honestly um seeing the data right now and seeing the statistics in mild cognitive decline which is like over 20 percent of people over the uh, the age of 60 will get a mild cognitive decline and those are statistics from 2021 and i personally believe that those statistics are higher right now right so so right. we thought that you know like we can um launch the supplement and we didn't patent it and we just proceeded with that because uh, we believe that our unique selling point is the fact that um, you know we're very transparent as a company and uh, customers love us for who we are and for our quality. Yeah, that's great because I guess at the end of the day, you can you can ring fence your IP and spend mm -hmm. a lot of time and money doing that, or you can just yeah. get out there and do it, right? Which is what yeah. you're obviously doing. And of course, you mentioned obviously the uh, Astapharmacy thing in the UAE, which is yeah. very exciting. The fact yeah. that 
obviously an organization like yourself is representative of so many in our industry that are innovating and bringing longevity supplements to market. But this is now uh, going into mainstream uh, into obviously pharmacies and so on. So what, what's the plan there, Elena? Have you got more activity going on? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we already have two more uh, products and registration with Astir Pharmacy and they already have agreed. Um, they already have uh, um, confirmed that they're interested in stocking the NAD brain as well. So this is going to hit the, uh, the stores um, in 2024. We're super excited about this. We just need to go through, you know, the registration process that usually takes a few months. So we're waiting for this. And we also are looking into expanding more into the Middle East and other Gulf countries. And again, we're already are in talks with other distributors. And also there is another super, uh, super exciting collaboration that we're going to launch next year. But unfortunately, I, I, I can't um, comment more on that, but I'm sure that uh, I'll come back to you guys next year for for another press release. But all I can say is that we're going to enter another huge market for anti-aging supplements um, and have our products uh, in another country that has great interest in, in this kind of products. And we will be in stores there as well next year. Okay, well, congratulations on that. And you. Uh, as you mentioned at the beginning, Elena, you know, you 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 change your supplement stack uh, in uh, in favor of obviously NAD brain, I would imagine. So, mm-hmm. so what else are you taking? Yeah, absolutely. So as I said, like I take around probably 30 supplements at any given moment. So some of them I'm cycling. So for example, I would cycle uh, supplements for specific indications such as, uh, let's say, bone health, right? So I would cycle chondroitin and glucosamine throughout the year a couple of times maybe. I would cycle kelp for microiodine supplementation for thyroid health. Uh, health. I would cycle melatonin two, three times a year as well, things like that. And then, of course, I have my core supplement stack, such as the NMN, which was the first product that we launched, the NMN Bio. And the reason for launching it first was because I saw how crucial it is, right? And again, it like it all goes back to the importance of NAD in human health because uh, without NAD, so if your levels of NAD would drop to zero, you would be dead in 30 seconds right now, right? Because it sits on the Krebs cycle and without it, our mitochondria actually cannot produce any energy. They cannot produce ATP. So for this reason, um, you know, there there are different kind of NAD boosters out there, but uh, from what I've seen so far and the reason why I chose to start the company with Anaman in particular is because um, for me, the high uh, the high consistency of data in different models is very important in a compound. So for example, I would read different papers on a particular compound and I would see different results in animal studies and cell studies and human studies. So the results would be all over the place. But when you actually are looking into the results that NMN is producing in cell models and then animal models and then human clinical trials, of course, we do have different clinical trials that that have um, you know var- a varying degree of quality when it comes to the design of the study. But if you look at the ones that um, you know are, are double-blind, uh, have been designed properly and so on, they're actually very robust. And they do uh, show that, you know, you can you can benefit in, in more than multiple ways with NMN because it's such an immediate uh, precursor to NAD. So it's a one-step precursor to NAD. And I think this really matters because um, in our paper in Cell Reports, for example, we did um, compare the true niagen, so the NR from Chromadex with NMN from NMN Bio, and NMN would outperform uh, NR in every single experiment when it comes to cytotoxicity in, in neurodegeneration in all of those sick neurons that we were testing uh, with various ways, basically. So for that yeah, reason... Well, of course, not, the, yeah. the NMN and, and our discussion will uh, mm-hmm. will continue. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but of course, uh, Elena, um, it's great to have you join us today. And of mm-hmm. course, best of luck with uh, uh, with NAD Brain. And um, we'll obviously look forward to hearing your progress as you commercialize and roll out new products in the future. Yeah, thank you so much, Phil. Thank you. Bye-bye.